Hey y'all, welcome to the Walk for Change short. Hi everyone, my name is Candace Steyer and I'm here with Bobby Rodrigo and we are going to be talking about disaster relief today. Hey Bobby, how you doing? I'm good Candace, how are you and yours in our wonderful pandemic times? Doing great, doing great. We played cards last night and uh, we're doing the whole homeschool thing right now and everything's going pretty good. Pretty smoothly. I like it. I like it. So I wanted to uh, come on here and have a discussion. And, and one of the reasons why I, I thought it would be a good idea for us to do it was, you know, you are in a state that just experienced some serious incidents in the last few years. You had the Hurricane Harvey in the Houston area, Houston Corpus Christi area. You also had some serious explosions in your state in the last couple of years as well. Uh, always something going on in Texas, to say right. the least, you know, yeah. and, and then of course in our country. And, and we, we are talking about walking for change. We are walking for change. We are doing it. Well, you and I walking for change and without a doubt. And I think that one of the things that is important to change in our society is the way our government responds to the people, the way the government delivers public benefit, I guess to the people, you know, I know you pay taxes, I pay taxes, and if, unless we're going to war, they don't seem to show up when we need them. Right, right, yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, our government definitely does need to uh, learn how to come in and help uh, in certain areas, as we noticed with the hurricane, like you were just talking about, um, that was really a horrible, horrible thing that could have been kept from happening, like the aftermath of it, after they all got put in that uh, stadium. Uh, I don't know if you've read the story about all the stuff that was going on, the looting, the, the violence and stuff, but uh, that right there shows you that our government definitely needs a little work on how to come in and help and give relief to people. Yeah, actually, I actually worked, uh, you, you're talking about Katrina, for example, and I actually was working, I wasn't working in New Orleans, I was working in Key West at that time. I've been doing relief response in different ways for a very long time, and, and you raise a good point on how the government fails to respond. You know, the, the, when, when we all decided to put together the Walk for Change as a group, we knew that it was going to be a broad spectrum of issues and and now that we're in the midst of a crisis we're also able to talk about it in real time and one of the things that's different for me is because when I respond to a crisis I'm working in the field I really don't care or I don't have time it's not that I don't care but I don't have time to, to, to do advocacy or marketing or you know bashing the government you know basically it's just get out of my way you know, the whole, the whole idea of delivering public benefit to the community, in my view, is to preserve life. And, you know, the way that they're talking about this is they're not, you, I mean, the rhetoric is ridiculous. And, and, and they throw death at us, but there's no plan, unfortunately. And, and that's, that's one of the things that I believe needs to change. You know, and, and we've been doing a number of these interviews, uh, these discussions that we've been having. And I, I know that one of them uh, was mentioned, this very, very thing was mentioned on how the government's not responding properly. And it's really true. So, to, to, you know, just to give an example. So in, in one of the groups that I work with tomorrow, we are actually going to be feeding the National Guard and the medical responders starting tomorrow at the, Jav J the Jacob Javits Center in New York City, which, where they, they've added a, a 2,000 more beds. Now, we talked to the White House two, over two weeks ago. And I, I think it's three, I, whatever it is, it's a blur now. But so the, they actually called uh, one of my colleagues, Lieutenant General Henri, who's very well known in disaster. And we have a plan. We have 6,000 food trucks that are out there ready to roll in, in the United States of America. 6,000. Oh, wow. Each one can feed 19, up to 1,900 meals in a meal serving. So everybody can do the math. But they, they, they don't have a plan. You know, they're doing all this tent city and, and all these. And, and they, you know, if you need them, you need them. But you got to have a plan to feed at least the people who are trying to help. And then the people who are in these makeshift hospitals, if you don't have a plan, you just don't, I mean, somebody's got to prepare the food. 
They have no idea. Just on that simple thing, they're not doing it. And I, I think that's something that we need to address with our government when, I, you know, when, as we're doing our walk. Because again, as you know, we don't just do, we're not just going to be walking around holding signs. We're bringing change. We're bringing you know, legislation, policy changes, discussions. We're, we're going to go, we're going to get in their face and say, look, you know, and this is something as, and we're all seeing it. We're all home. Everybody's home. We get to turn on the TV. We get to talk like this. And, and so I get to, I actually get to do a little bit bashing a little bit because I, even though I'm starting to feed people, I don't have to be there yet. It isn't, they aren't using us enough where I have to go somewhere and, right. and manage it, thankfully. So it, it's, it's important. And, and I just wanted to, to point that out. And I know that you were, you are concerned about it as well. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, they, I mean, I'm not saying that the government isn't doing a good job right now. I'm just saying they definitely have some work to do. Like right now in our community, everything's pretty much going good. We haven't been like totally locked down, but most of us are doing that anyway because we're just trying to help the spread. Um, we have plenty of stores open. They do have uh, food on the shelves. Um, they've worked out a good system where the kids are doing homeschool right now. They're doing the K through 12 programs. Uh, they offered anybody who didn't have computers, computers, the school did itself. Um, so we were able to go get the computers. They sanitized them and handed them out to everybody that needed them. Um, I mean, they're doing a great job. That's fantastic. That's as, great. You got to give them credit when they do it right. Yes, Absolutely. Yes, 100%. Definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. But um, there was definitely some, also some parts where they could work in, and I'm sure, I'm sure they're trying to learn from those mistakes, for sure. Well, a lot of the stuff that you mentioned uh, as well it involves the community responding. You know, the, the thing, it, it, the government isn't putting any hindrances on, on the marketplace, thankfully. So the marketplace is responding properly and taking care of the community, and people are, you know, it, the and that's, that's really about, just it. it. It's that you're like you just said, the community, the community is getting up in this time of need. And that's one thing Texas is good for. I'm sure lots of states are good for is when disaster comes, the community, the outreach, as far as people getting involved and helping and everybody is, seems to be a little nicer at that time. You know, mm -hmm. the community definitely does step up and do the good job. Well, it, it's almost like, well, I, I think part of that is because we, the community, have a plan. You know, we know how to react and help each other, at, at least at least in a general sense of the way. And, and we can't wait you know, if, if if a government if a government entity and again when they're doing good, I'm all there. You know that, that the rule the rule I have in relief myself personally is I don't care who you are, what you are. If you're helping me get relief to the person, to the people in their hand, I'll work with you. I right. government, exactly. not government, don't make any difference. And if you're not, I'm going to roll over you like a freight train because the right. point is to get the aid to the people. So communities communities will do well usually, and and if we don't rely on our government to do everything and we make them do the things that we see that are needed all the time, which is, which is what we're doing with the walk for change. I think right. that helps. And yeah, of course, if, you know, there's a lot, you know, I, I, I talk about FEMA a lot, you know, for example, and, and they, they're so complicated, but there's plenty of people in FEMA that I've worked with that are the bomb. They're right. great right. people that, you know, it, it's, it's like talking to the medical, you know, when we have the medical facility, uh, community, you know, some of them, we just don't want anything to do with because of whatever reason, but, Ultimately, everybody, you know, the majority of the people who became medical professionals are doing it for the right reason. Right. So there's good and bad in every profession. Down. Yeah, definitely. You know, every everything that's out there, there's good and bad of, for sure. Yeah, we, we get the resources in line. And, and, you know, hey, I have no problem helping the government get to where they want to be. That's what we're doing, right? I mean, we know... <laughs> We know in some areas there's plenty, I don't, I don't know what the word is, evil is probably the simplest thing on some of the things, but you know, ultimately, you know, uh, people are complicated, you know, they disappoint a lot, but ultimately the, everybody wants what's good. And, and like you say, the responses by the community is what's best. You know, I, I, had, the, I had the good fortune of creating an organization called We Do Better, and, and our whole platform is about we the people do better than the government in, in delivering public benefits to the community. Definitely. And, and again, everything about community empowerment is really important. And, and my issue with the government is only when they interfere with that. If they help, sign me up. I'm right there. We, you know, and 
And like you point out, there's plenty of times, and, and you gave great examples of the government working with the people, and that is that needs to be amplified, I, I think. Right. And as a model, we can we can show other government entities, hey, by the way, didn't why, this is what they did in Texas. How about you do that here? Wouldn't it work, right? Right. Yeah, they're even delivering breakfast and lunch to all the kids. We opt out of that, but that's because we just don't want more spread of germs. We're a healthy house, sure. so it didn't make a lot of sense. But they are for people who can't afford it because they've lost their jobs. And um, and that's another reason I'm not taking that because my husband still works. But right. so we're not in that financial bind. But for those people who need that, that that's helping them a lot to get that daily breakfast and lunch given to all the kids yeah you know and the interesting thing about things like these kind of disasters and, and that's really what this is is that the poor communities uh, are one of the most vulnerable uh, there was a recent article about that just the other day that came out of talking about the south which you know mississippi has some very poor areas georgia southern georgia particularly has some very poor areas and and that it is and it's not just the people the it, it's that they don't have resources if something happens you know they don't have anywhere to go you know if they get sick so we, we we being mindful of that and what they're doing there what you're showing is a very very good example a lot of people the only time the kids get a good meal is when they're in school too so yeah all of that's yeah. wonderful to hear i'm very happy that your community is doing that and your community government is doing that. that's great stuff absolutely heck yeah well i know you're you're in a great community where everybody's basically very few people and your virus is in a you're in a great spot for this virus, right? There are no viruses in the county that I'm in at this time. Let's make sure that stays that way. Don't come and visit. No, seriously though, it's it's uh, it's an interesting dynamic because there's always the electronic part of it too. The 5G. There's a lot of oh, a lot yeah. of people sick in the 5G communities, and, and and it's another aspect of what's out there. You know, uh, everything in our environment matters, and how we take care of the planet matters, and definitely, and, and how the you know a lot of times. In relief you have to let the you have to let the disaster tell you what to do what's needed you know uh, but unfortunately we tend not to be ready for a lot of things that need but we can go to war real fast let me tell you oh, what yeah. you want to go kill some people we're on our way yeah i'm, I'm getting in the tank and then i'm heading over there we're going to get them right that's it and we'll be there in five minutes and start killing people yeah so yeah it's it's um sometimes the priorities are a little a little uh off i'd say exactly i i think when disasters hit, like we were saying, the community just steps up and it shows who they actually are. So I think it's cool right now to kind of look around and watch, but I like to watch people and watch how they do things. I'm not really much of a talker, but I'll sit back and watch people for a while and kind of get to know who they are. And it's really cool to like watch people out in the community right now, because like the other day, Andrea, was we were at the store and she was asking for a bag of candy and I was like no you know that's a neat uh, that's a want right now I'm teaching her all about wants and needs and I said that's a want right now we need to get what we need right now because we were getting ready for the corona and everything and this lady hands her twenty dollars <laughs> get you wow. some candy and I um, mean uh -huh. it's just like really cool to watch Wow. Watch all the different miracles that are going on around you right now. Open your eyes and watch the people. It's pretty cool. That is very cool. That's what it's all about. And that's, that's what we do at the Walk for Change. That's what we want to see. We want to see a change in our society where we take care of each other and, and where the government kind of gets out of the way and lets us do our thing as long as we're not doing no harm. We remove force. And, and uh, we just correct the things and, and get and, and get our communities healthier. I guess is the, is what we're doing. So always exactly. nice to visit with you. You too. Thank you for having this time to talk. It was a great show. And remember, it's www.walknumber4change.us.